I get a lot of slack about my opinions on AI, and in this video, I'm going to talk all about it. I'm going to keep this video meh, maybe under 20 minutes, but I'm going to be talking about AI, your agency, how to make more money, how to make more money with AI, how to use AI to make your services more valuable, and ultimately get more results for your clients. Because I have been a big preacher, and I get a lot of slack for it, about how I do not believe AI is going to change the way we run this business, but I've been a very also big preacher on how AI will make you more valuable in the marketplace, make you faster to implementation in the marketplace and allow you to charge more money for the same services that you should be running in your business, whether it be rep management, whether it be message marketing, whether it be SEO, whether it be lead generation on Facebook, TikTok, wherever else, YouTube, so on and so forth. So I'm going to cover all the bases. And if you watch this video all the way until the end, there's going to be an offer for you that doesn't involve reaching into your pocket and spending any money and pay very close attention because I will be mentioning it slowly and abruptly throughout this training on AI for your agency. And I don't want you to miss out on this because again, Go High Level is coming out with something amazing and you'll be the first to know because I got a little trick up my sleeve to let you be some of the first people to ever see what I'm going to reveal in this video. So you're going to stick with me to the end? Good. Now, before I go on and talk about this, like, subscribe, throw a comment on what your opinion about AI is whether you agree or disagree with me, I love to have these kind of back and forth on my uh, comment section, and subscribe and turn the notifications on because I'm coming out with one to two videos every single week, all about your business, all about the agency world, all about go high level. Now, if you've been living under a rock, which is possible, I've been under a few rocks in my lifetime, then you know that I'm a very, very big believer in keeping things simple. And up until now, AI was not simple. It's why I hated on it for so long. I'm not going to spend time learning how to train, create, build chatbots when I now have a tool to just click a little button and implement it into my clients businesses within three seconds and that's what this video is all about because i told you audience stop wasting your time wait till the technology catches up to the market and it has and that's what this video is about so let's jump right into it you know what before i jump onto my screen let's really quick because since we're talking about go high level what types of tools does go high level have when it comes to ai so Go High Level has the ability to turn on conversation AI, workflow AI, reviews AI, content AI. Four tools as of now that Go High Level has implemented in their software with a click of a button to allow us to utilize AI in our sub accounts, AKA clients. This is gonna be important for this video because I'm gonna go through each and every one of them. So now let's jump on our screen. So now that I'm in a, let's say a client's sub account and I go over to reputation and we go over to reviews, all right, you will see people leaving reviews, right? And this particular client is going through our review management campaign. And as you can see here, as people put in reviews, okay, there's a reply. Now, why is this important? The importance of this, a lot of people don't realize is the ability to rank higher in Google business profiles, listings. So Google, one of the factors, and I'm not going to say it's the most important, and I'm not going to say that this is going to rank your, your GMB or your client's uh, Google business profile. But what I will tell you is, is that if you do not reply, whether it's you personally or your client, reply to the reviews, whether it be a one-star review or a five-star review, replies are important as a ranking factor to Google to rank you higher. I've seen Google business profiles in my local area that have eight reviews and are ranking higher than somebody who has 146 reviews. 
And on each one of those eight reviews, there's a reply. Now, I'm not going to say that's why, but I will tell you that it is definitely an important factor. Now, what's the main problem with this? Your client is not going to respond to reviews. Most of the time, the secretary won't even do it. And if they do, they're just going to say, thanks, appreciate it. You're the best. Thanks for coming in. S stuff like that, right? Instead of utilizing like SEO based terms. And so if we take a look here, right? If we take a look at this client, Abby said, here's a five-star review. I really like the chicken because whatever. Then the AI reply. Now, what did I say? I mentioned four different AI tools. One of them being the reviews AI. Is that now the AI says, thank you for your five-star review, Abby. And if I continue to scroll down, right? You'll see that even on, I'm looking for a bad review here. Here, here's a one-star review. I'm not gonna read this, Karen Jones, surprising. Uh, went this Sunday and was told we had a half hour wait. We ended up waiting five and a half hours. I, I hardly believe that, but anyway. So the AI responded, thank you for your feedback, Karen. We were only open six hours, so I hate that you had to wait five and a half. The AI is basically saying, uh, the space is very small and I do face a long wait challenge. When I opened this restaurant a year ago, again, AI is responding. I had no idea it would be so busy. While we regret losing you as a patron, we were completely understand your frustration uh, and you deciding not to patronize us in the future, okay? So you understand how this works, right? So we're getting auto re reviews. Now, how do I turn this on? Well, you just go over. If you go over to overview in the reputation tab, right? First of all, you can see all the reviews are getting with our review management campaign. Um, and you would just simply go to settings, reputation management, and turn on auto responses. Okay. Now you could also edit this. Okay. So it says select your review platform for AI replies. Replies will be sent to all sources by default if nothing is selected. So it would be Google or Facebook. Okay. Auto responses. Configure the settings below. Order response sent to only, and you can choose all of them, five stars, four stars, whatever. Wait time before responding. So you don't want them to respond immediately. Maybe wait 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Review response footer. Example would be essentially thank you, but you, you don't have to fill all of that in. And let me go over to another client over here. And if I go into their reputation, Okay, again, replied by AI, replied by AI, replied by AI. Super cute, please, blah, blah, blah. You know, thank you for your five star we'll throw that you had it, right? So sometimes it'll give short answers, sometimes it will give long answers. Either way, they are getting replied. Okay, they're getting replied to. Very, very important. And it's literally a click of a button to turn this on in your reputation management thing, AI. Now, why is this important? So this is particularly important because number one, you can offer this as another service if you so choose, meaning you can offer your review management for $2.97 a month, add the AI replies at $4.97 a month. You could just charge $4.97 and say, hey, I'm gonna get you more you know, five-star reviews, four-star reviews, and guess what? You won't even need to go in there and reply because we have our AI bot that will reply for you and it's one less headache. Is it worth the extra 200 essentially, right? You could just package it in and sell it like that. I'm a big believer in packaging it, combined with it, and it just goes with your service instead of even mentioning it, unless you know the business owner will be happy knowing that they're implementing AI. It's a bragging tool for businesses now, and it's gonna become more of a bragging tool. I'm telling you right now, over dinner, they will tell a friend that says, hey, guess what? Like, I finally got artificial intelligence installed in my business through, you know, through what this is a student of ours, uh, Ahmed. And now the conversation piece is like, well, I want to do the same thing for my business. Can you give me his number? Right? So everything kind of plays and builds upon that foundation of AI is not changing the service. It's making the service better. So let's jump into the next one. Okay. So this is going to be about the conversation AI and one of the biggest things early on when chat GPT just came out, you started to see all these build a bot, you know, coding this, all this stuff. Right. And again, this is where I always said, forget AI until the technology catches up. Right. We don't want 
to waste time, energy, and money, opportunity cost, with things that we already knew were going to happen. And so when you used to hear these things like, oh, I'm building a bot and you can train it. It was like, okay, well, I got to go get a software. I, I like, what's the software? What's this? What's that? Like, bleh. No, thank you. I'll just wait for Go High Level to do it because Go High Level is always up with the times. And so now that I see it in this format, building a bot, right? Then it now makes sense. It's like, here's my bot settings, right? You can have a trial, right? So here I gave you an example. I said, who is James Bonnet? He's, sorry, I don't have that information because I never trained the bot. Oh, well, now this freaking makes sense to me, okay? And so on the bot training aspect, you can do it one or two ways. You can drop a URL in here, okay? And it'll start fetching all of the pages. So this could be your client, right? This could be ABC Towing, 1-800-Flowers, like whatever, whatever it might be. And this is gonna get all the data that is on the website of your client, all right? And or you can just create your own common questions. I mean, this is an example of a coaching program, but like um, how long, and then you train it and say, well, the answer that I would give is, thanks for that, thanks for the question. Or I would say, I would probably, okay, so I hit save on that. And now if I want to go through like a trial here, reset conversation, I can say, James Barney is someone associated with Visibility Cloud, a local market vault, and has experience in business for model for over 10 years. Where did it get that information from? It got it from my website and the training. I uploaded the link. You could add as many links as you want. You could upload a YouTube channel, like all these things, and it'll pull all the data in. And if you look back on a video I did about a year ago, I, oh no, it was my live event I did in July of last year. I talked about this. I said, look, you know, we call it artificial intelligence and stuff, but it's really like, not really, you know, like there's no robots walking around. This is just like you, you're, you're inputting all of the infor information and then the AI has the ability to, to crawl it find the intent of the question and then respond with the answer from the web page that it's crawling. And or, we could reset this again. How long do I have access to the program if I become a student, right? You, you guys saw me do that. And so even though I put one question in there and I, and I reworded it, once you become a student and pay your tuition in full, you have, it spits it out, right? So this is where I do my bot training. Do you see why I now say, and, I, and I'm sorry if I repeat this every time I go through a new tool, but do you see why I said, wait, guys, wait, wait until the technology catches up. Like now it all makes sense. It all makes sense. It's like, cool. I'll go to go high level, build a bot for my client. I mean, People literally charge thousands of dollars to create a bot, and now you could just do it and go high level, and it, it perfectly makes sense. Now, you can also have the settings. So this is where you would autopilot. And let me interrupt you really, really quick, and I put my head on sideways so you know that this is an interruption to the regular scheduled video. But please continue to keep watching because at the end of this video, I'm going to make you an offer nothing, no money, don't worry. I'm going to make you an offer to be the first to get involved in something that nobody knows about yet. So please, do me a favor, continue watching. Send message to all automatically or suggestive, so it helps you within the chat window. And you could do it on all channels, Instagram, Facebook, SMS, Google Business Profiles, chat widgets, live chat. I mean, this is just groundbreaking stuff, right? And then you can have autopilot mode, configure the settings for the autopilot mode. You can have them, if they, um, if they land on a site and you have the chat widget, do you want them to, do you want to send them a message right away? Do you want to wait a minute, two minutes, three seconds, whatever it might be? What's the ma maximum messages a bot can send to a contact? We have 10, but theoretically, if they keep going back and forth, you can go more or less. 
Send bot to sleep when, a, when uh, I send a message manually or through a workflow. That just means that you know, they're not going to keep getting bombarded. And uh, you can see here is two cents or $79 a month for unlimited plan. I mean, you don't get much better than this. So that is the conversational AI. So why is this important? It brings us back to enabling us to have more value to a client. If you have a client and you can implement a chat bot and they can get rid of a support person that they have in their office just by uploading their website, it, it is some powerful stuff. We are here in this age with Go High Level's ability to have this and it, it being extremely simple to implement. You can see how easy just the conversation and then implement it across all of their platforms. Right. Obviously, we would want to have intent somewhere in there. Like, what are they what are they asking questions for? Should I schedule them on the calendar and stuff? And you can have that uh, under the conf uh, configure intents over here under the configure intent intents support general questions. We want to enable that appointment booking would be an intent, right? If an appointment is already confirmed for a contact, the intent switches to a general support question. Pick a calendar. Um, and so you could choose one of your calendars over here. So if they're saying like, hey, I'd like to book a call, but I haven't been able to get in touch with somebody or whatever. It's like, hey, if you want to book a call, here's the calendar link. Go book it. Then you can even come down to a conversation flow. The AI bot will ask the below information before sharing the booking link. And what would that be? Well, for me in this coaching business, it could be, you know, are you looking to get coaching for your SMA? Right. And if it's for like uh, that grits and waffle client of our students, it would say, uh, are you looking to make reservations? Are you looking, um, you know, what else are you looking for? Like, and you can add all of these questions in here that you want to know prior to allowing them to book. So it's like, okay, hey, I mean, you're looking to um, make a reservation. Is that correct? Yes. What day? Today. What time? 5 p.m. Okay, great. Here's uh, here's the slots that we have open and you can send them to an open table link or something like that. All right. And so that is the power of conversation. AI. let's jump in to the next one. Okay. We're up to number three of the tools inside of go high level that are all about AI. And this one is content AI. Now this is probably self-explanatory, but I'll show you a quick example of how it works, but you could do it in the emails and the funnels in the social planner, um, kind of all over the place. Uh, where you can essentially just utilize the content AI within what you're doing, right? It's about speed and simplicity. So let's just jump on my screen. So let's just go into, I don't know, a Cairo back pain management. Okay. And let's go and edit the funnel. And I have uh, content AI enabled on this sub account. And so I will have the opportunity is uh, to create content within the funnel builder. So about our practice. So I can essentially highlight, click the AI thing and say, generate AI. Now provide a brief content subscription. Length of content, we could do small, medium, large. Let's just do small, I don't know. Additional options, select the writing tone. So this is the variations. Um, it's gonna give you like two different or three different or four different variations. Let's just do two and hit generate. And so that'll generate the content. So here it is. Discover unparalleled chiropractic care in Wayne, New Jersey, where your well-being is our top priority. Our client accepts, accepts all insurances and cash payments for maximum convenience, experience, and ease. So now I could just use copy, right? Puts it right here, continue. And there it is, right? And then we would delete the bottom paragraph. Okay, so you understand how this utilizes in speed. Then you could do it in the... If you're writing emails, you could do it. If you uh, want to put a post up in the social planner, again, it's it's basically giving you almost like the chat GPT widget that is annoying as heck because it is all over the freaking place when I, when I used to have it enabled, when I only needed it in a few places. Well, now it's kind of like the chat GPT widget in or directly in Go High Level. Again, it just makes things fast and easy. And so now I'm going to get into the last and fourth, which is the most powerful one version of AI. Well, they're all really powerful. And before I do that, I want to remind you guys 
in about the next five to seven minutes, I'll reveal what nobody really knows about on this video. So stay tuned. And then I'm going to share with you why you should do as I say. So let's just jump right into it. So I'm going to actually leave this as the carrot. And um, only because the workflow AI is too powerful to just breeze through it in five minutes. Um, and I'm putting together a training, a, a workflow AI training, a conversation AI training, a content AI training, and a reviews AI training. And in order to understand how you can get those trainings for free, down below in the description and in the first comment, the pinned comment, there will be a link. It will most likely say, go high level secret. Click that link, fill out your information, and you'll be notified of what is coming directly from go high level. And once you do that, and you do it through the form, then next week you'll be notified on how you can get these full-blown four trainings uh, for free. That's what I got for you. I revealed it. I told you I was going to reveal it at the end. It's go high level secret. There's nothing else I could tell you about it. But what I can tell you is you'll be the first to know if you use the link down below and fill out your information. Keep an eye out in your email and I'll see you in the next video. One to two videos per week on this channel trying to bring as much value as humanly possible. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.